Golden State Foods, this is Chris Leathers, your corporate fitness coach. We're here at Your World Fitness Headquarters. I got a special surprise for you guys. I got two of our fitness models uh, here with us today, Jess and Katie. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate our warm-ups for our truck drivers and our warm-ups for our factory workers. Let's pay attention, guys, and let's get after it. All right, truck drivers, so you just get done driving, you pull up to the location, you safely park the car, okay? These next exercises, you're gonna do 60 to 90 seconds before you unload. Again, I need to stress the time, 60 to 90 seconds, because we, we don't wanna take up too much time, and again, we wanna prep that nervous system fast, maybe even get a light sweat, and then start to unload. So the first exercise that we're gonna do are leg swings. All right, so Jess and Kate are gonna demonstrate on the wall. You guys are gonna use the truck. All right, so we're just gonna kind of pan over here. Jess and Kate are gonna go ahead and just get on that wall. All right, so again, pretend that the wall, pretend that the wall is the truck. So again, you're just gonna start by not fully extending your arms, but just putting your arms in the truck, and then you're just laterally gonna look, swing that leg. Go ahead, girls. Okay, you're gonna go about 10 reps. Okay, as the reps start, as you get closer to about 10 reps, you're gonna increase that range of motion. So you're gonna see, good job, Jess. Good, Katie. Good, Katie. And again, we're just kind of loosening up those hips. You're gonna go 10, 10 leg swings on one leg, 10 leg swings on the other, go ahead and switch. Okay. All right, truck drivers, we just got done driving. We pull up to the location, we safely park. All right, the next 60 to 90 seconds after you park that truck is going to be used to prep that central nervous system to unload that truck to the restaurants. All right, so the first exercise is going to be lateral leg swings and forward leg swings. You're only going to do 10 repetitions for each exercise. So our fitness models, Jess, Jess and Katie, are going to get on the wall, show you what I'm talking about. That wall is going to be the truck. So go ahead, girls, about 10 reps each leg. So again, as you see them go, you're going to see that, the, that leg increase that range of motion. Again, you've been sitting in that truck for a while. Okay, we want to loosen up those hips. Go ahead, switch legs, girls. So lateral each leg, go ahead, good. And then you're gonna go forward. So you're just gonna turn lateral to the truck, one hand on the truck, and just go ahead and swing. Good, good. All right, our next exercise is gonna be one of your guys' favorites. It's called standing pigeon. This is gonna be great for warming up that external hip and warming up that glute. Again, you can sit on those glutes, for a couple hours, maybe less, but we want to get the blood pumping back in. So here's what that's going to look like. All right, so standing pigeon again. We're going to use the truck. All right, three points of contact, all right? Your butt's on the truck, and one hand's going to be on the truck. You're going to see the girls are just going to put one knee over the other, and what you're going to do is you put one hand on that knee, one hand on the truck. Three points of contact. And then you're just going to squat down, you're going to gently press that knee, and you're gonna feel that external hip get loose, and you're gonna feel that glute get some blood pumping through it. You're gonna hold that stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then go ahead and switch legs. And they're just gonna lightly press that knee down. Our hips are warmed up, our glutes are warmed up. Now it's time to warm up that upper body, all right? So again, this is the truck. You're gonna stand on the truck. Arms are gonna be up, all right? Now, as the girls extend their arms, you wanna keep your shoulders and your elbows on the wall through the extension. So girls, go ahead and see about five reps. Go ahead and bring it back down. Go ahead and push it on up, bring it back down. And you're gonna hear me say push it up and pull it down because you're gonna to have to push and pull in order to keep that elbow and shoulder on the wall through the extension up. All right guys, so just to recap a little bit, right after you park your truck safely and you unload the, un unload the truck, you're gonna do leg swings, 10 exercises each way lateral, 10 way each way forward, standing pigeon to loosen up those hips, loosen up those glutes, and standing ball slides for 10 reps. All right, so we're gonna transition from standing pigeon to a deep squat. So you're gonna see the girls are using spin bikes, we're gonna use the railing. So first, you're just gonna position your feet. You're gonna position your feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit outside your shoulders. All right, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna squat down as low as you can, you're gonna keep good extension in that low back. So I wanna see a straight line 
from your low back to the top of your head. Okay, you're just gonna stay down there for about 10 seconds. You're gonna stand back up. Take a nice deep inhale in through that nose. Through the exhale, you're gonna squat back down. Same thing, you're gonna keep that extension through that lumbar, through that low back to the top of your head. And this time, you're gonna try to push those knees wide, yeah. That's gonna implement those groins into it. You're gonna stand back up again. And you're gonna do that for about three to five more reps. So go ahead, girls, just on you, on you. Good. You're inhaling at the top, you're giving me a nice long exhale through the squat. You should notice an increased range of motion in your squat and as you push those knees out, as the reps go a little bit. We're gonna now warm up the internal part of our hip and the internal part of our groins. So you're gonna see the girls here, one, they're gonna be kneeling on one leg and what they're gonna do is they're gonna just have that hip in extension and then they're just gonna have it in flexion pointed forward. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna hold that in flexion forward for about 30 seconds. And again, we're targeting that internal groin, the internal hip flexors. Go ahead, back in extension, back to flexion, and you should feel an increased range of motion on your second, and third, and fourth, and fifth rep. So go ahead, go switch legs. Again, you're gonna hold that stretch for about 30 to 60 seconds. You're gonna start with that hip in extension, and then push it through to flexion and just breathe through it, guys. When we hold these stretches, we want to make sure we breathe through our belly, right? Breathe through that diaphragm. Inhale in through that nose. Exhale through that stretch through that mouth. Let's keep it rocking. Okay, we're going to transition now into our bridges, right? So we want to get those glutes firing, get those hamstrings firing, get them ready to lift. All right, so you're going to see the girls here. They're just in a sit-up position with their arms out to the side. Feet are going to be flat, and what you're going to do is you're going to drive through your feet and elevate those hips to the sky. Go ahead, girls. Give me about 10 reps. Go ahead. Again, you want to keep that foot, both feet flat. You're going to be primarily driving through that heel, but we want that foot flat, and we want you pushing through the ground with, that toe, with those toes. After 10 reps, what you're going to do is you're just going to elevate one leg straight up in the air, and you're going to do the same thing. And you can do whatever's sufficient for you. Okay, if I'm you guys, I'm gonna set a goal to get 15 reps, you know, my first couple weeks. And then the third and fourth week, I'm gonna try to get 20, 25 reps in. Remember though, we're not gonna spend more than 30 to 45 seconds, maybe 50 seconds on this exercise. Now we're gonna do side lane clamshells. You're gonna notice the girls here are lying on their sides, one arm's fully extended, and then the other arm is gonna be braced on the ground. Their legs are at 45 degrees. Now what you're gonna notice is they're just gonna externally open that lead leg. Good, just bring it back down. Good. Again, we have to strengthen our hips, we have to strengthen our core, that's gonna save us, that's gonna save our low back. A stronger core, stronger groin, stronger hips, that's the mission. Go ahead and switch sides, guys, you're just gonna roll over. Same thing, go ahead. Okay, we're gonna transition right away, we're gonna keep that tempo fast right into fire hydrants. So fire hydrants, you're gonna notice the girls are gonna bring your mats out, you're gonna be on all fours, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift one knee off the ground, bring it back down, good. So you're kinda of balancing on one leg. Again, shoot for about 15 reps your first week, and then see, what, you know, see once your hips get a little stronger if you can kinda of move on from that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and switch legs. Good. Right on. Last but not least, we're gonna warm up that upper body, primarily our shoulders. So you're gonna see the girls are still on all fours, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna take one hand off the ground, and they're just gonna reach it through, and just tap, good. So just keep wrapping that out, girls. I want that palm up, though, through the tap. So you reach through, palm up, good, Jess. So reach through, palm up, good. And again, the more reps you do, the more increased range of motion you should get. Go ahead, switch. All 
All right, guys, that concludes our warm up. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Katie. Now, the last thing is I need to stress the tempo of everything, okay? We have 10 minutes to fit those seven exercises in. As a supervisor, I look at it as your responsibility to keep that tempo up. We want our guys to have a light sweat to begin work, to begin work. All right, if you guys have questions, don't hesitate to inquire. You've got my contact information. It's a great day to be a Golden State Food employee.